Well, good morning, folks. It's Sunday, 25th or 6th. I lose track of time on the weekends. Made a huge dent in the floor here. I still got some of that stuff needs to go to the uh, camper, and, and some of that stuff needs to be put away, probably up in the attic until next deer season. But I, I'll retrieve my uh, stand and put it all back in that box till next year but I went and picked up some material I've got uh, six little shelves to make and I'll uh, try to keep you in the loop on it as I'm uh, putting them together just simple for like little pictures and plates or whatever uh, kind of a friend of mine out at the lake requested them and uh, so I'm gonna get that going another bathroom set for her and then uh, we're gonna move to uh, working on this uh, toy box that my best friend uh, had made and see if I can get those scratches and stuff cleaned up I don't want to I don't want to take it apart because I don't want to do any damage to it so it maintains its integrity from when my uh, best friend built that for his daughter she's about to have a child herself and uh, wants this cleaned up looking nice for the little fellow when he comes into the into, onto the planet. All right, I'm gonna get busy and bring you back. Uh, may even do some filming. Ah, yeah, we'll just see. You know how you know how my videos are. Be back. All right. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna measure off these uh, fence panels, and I tried to find the straightest ones that I possibly could, and we're gonna mark them off at. Uh, 36 inches, but what I want to do first, I want to just barely nip the edge of this. It's got a staple on the end of it, and I want to make my own straight edge for it. And now we'll mark it off 36 inches. And that's going to be the length this uh, shelf Is uh, cut another one of these down and then take it to the table saw and rip them down to uh, uh, one inch strips and that's going to be basically uh, the bottom and there's a lip so let me uh, get set up and that's another one cut and get set up in my other shop and I'll bring you back All right, we're set up here, and what I need to do is measure, make sure that's one inch. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. Gotta love this. <clears throat> Boy. Loosen that up a little bit. One inch. One inch, one inch, all right, lock it down, and hopefully it'll stay that way. Slide this over a little bit now. Here we go.
trick I'm looking for. Of course, I'm out here like a dumbass with no no eye protection. So, yeah, if I get an eye full, it's my own fault. Don't do it all, man. that I can use on the uh I'm back in the garage. Uh, man, I didn't realize my phone had ran out of memory. So the last tiny bit of the of what I was filming in the small shop didn't get uh, put on there. But I'm fixing to set up my little saw horses and have a little makeshift bench. And we're going to uh, put these together. I'm going to uh, use some glue and my brad gun. Put the shelves together, and that, the, the brads will hold everything in place. That way, I can uh, go on to the next uh, shelf. Try to get them done as quickly as I can, and uh, I'll take you along for the ride. So, give me a few minutes to set up, and we'll be rolling again. Well, I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> I got wrapped up in myself and forgot about you guys. I've got uh, what I've done is I've glued the first edge to that. Uh, full width piece of the back of the shelf. There we go. I'll get it out. So now I need to kind of get you guys set up where you can see what I'm doing. What's in the way here? There we go. And what I'm going to do now is use my brad gun and uh, shoot some brads in it to help hold it together. Up. I'll invest in a better nail gun one of these days. I just don't have anything. And what I'm going to do now is uh, shoot some brads in it to help hold it together. This. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about that. I've got one clamped up. I'm getting ready to uh, get back to work on it. Took a break from from this. Went and had some lunch, but uh, I had to. I had. Uh, to stop filming because my the phone even though the battery was at 67 percent just kicked off wouldn't come back on so I uh, wouldn't be surprised if it was another one of the little downloads where they uh, try to get you in there to buy another battery but I've got two of them built already and that's just kind of a little lip to hold plates or pictures or whatever and it'll just hang on the wall and the finish, of course, is done with a blowtorch to go from that, uh, that white fence picket. That's probably pine. At a dollar, dollar forty-eight a piece. That's yes, pine. Anyway, all right. I'll get the camera set back up and I'll go to work on this and let you see what's going on with that. Get this on the tripod 
and hopefully we got a good I don't know if is that uh yeah okay yeah now we're down there looking all right now we're gonna do here I'm gonna beat a glue well, no, 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 I got ahead of myself. What I need to do, you've seen me do this before, is basically do the uh, blowtorch finish. You've seen me do that before, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the pause the video and uh, pick up again when I'm putting the uh, front railing on it. Be right back. All right, here we're at it again. Let me see if I can get this thing aimed appropriately. I don't know how that angle is going to work. My tripod's kind of loose. Let me get my fat self. <laughs> yeah. Eat more salads. Yep, that's good. And I'm going to put one in the middle. And what I'm going to do now, once I get that done, torque it a little bit. And shoot it with the old Brad gun. Hmm. Interesting. See, see a nail come out. There it went. That's bad news. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. Well, we got a jam. I tell you what. There are times when yeah, I just can't win for losing. Turn the power off. And See if I can get it fixed. Oy vey. Okay. Yep, that's what we did. And then I got one stuck. Nice. All right. Well, let's try it out real quick. I think I got it fixed. Just an easy fix, really. Just got jammed up inside, and it's just a matter of uh, taking these two screws loose, and that slides off, and then undo the jam. All right, I think I got enough brads in there. Get my hammer and Take care of that business. Let me uh, move this somewhere else where I don't know yet. Because when I start hammering away on that, that is not going to be a good deal for. And I'm hoping, and I hope that's the right camera angle. If not, well, sorry, folks. And I'm just now. Just Making sure that the pads are seated. Look at there. Well, bend it over anyway. That's what I get trying to do. Get handed. And that's pretty much how those things go together. Of course, without the Nail gun jam. All right, and then all I gotta do now is torch that, and this one will be done, and I've got three more to go, so 
I'll bring you back when I get finished. All right, here they are, six of them. And uh, what they're for, you just, they hang on the wall. And then uh, if you look, it's got a little, little tiny shelf with an edge right here. So you can hide, you can put uh, pictures in it, you know, sit, sit pictures in them. Uh, I don't know about plates. But I do know that you can put a picture in them, or several pictures, and uh, display all that stuff on the wall. Let me back up for everybody. But anyway, there was an order for six of them that I got done today. And uh, that was a nice, fun, easy project. I hope I got enough of it videoed for you guys. And I do apologize about having trouble with the, this phone. So, uh, I guess if I want to get the get this channel to grow and I, I'm, I'm gonna have to give up on the idea of keeping things simple and and get the GoPro out and I think I've got a Sony camera that might I've never tried to video with it but I'll give it a try and see how that works out anyhow if you like what you see give it a thumbs up and uh, I uh, do uh, invite anyone that uh, wants to subscribe to the channel the more the merrier and uh, Man, thank you for watching. You guys have a great weekend, or what's left of it anyway, and I will catch you all in the next video.